Hey guys, so I have an idea and I might potentially have a secret weapon if I can get it to work. I'm almost at the end of my bottle. I have Mixed Media Girls split cup here that I've never tried. It's all clean and pretty and I have thick paint, okay? I have these two Artist Loft um, ready mix pouring paints and I have leftovers that I can't remember what they are but I didn't add water into them so they're they're very thick. I think this one's too thick. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get this super intense reacting paint to give me a nice result. Every time I've tried to use it, it was always overpowering. Um, did I just drop some lumps in my brand new cup? Jesus Christ. I don't know. So yeah. I only use a little bit and it's like the satin enamels in a way where it reacts so much. Too much. But I'm like, uh, every time I'm like, holy crap, it's so cool. And then two hours later, I'm like, oh my God, what happened to my painting? So I know that I have to use just a teeny bit if I want to work. There. I have no idea what I'm doing and if it's going to work, you guys. I'm telling you, this is Melody Experimenting 101. Um, so let's go with the silver. And then this one is actually newer, so it's not as thick. Some orange. And no, this one I can't, I can barely pour it. So I'm just going to add a few drops of water. There. There pretty much like the other ones now. Now I'm going to put more of this crazy white there. I'm telling you, you see how dirty the bottle is? I mean, I've tried it all. And I'm at the end. Oh God. Okay. I don't know if you can see how it's reacting in there. It's really, it looks like the cloud mix. Seriously. Um, what am I doing? I think I want more of the silver. Might as well. There. And then the blue. This color is beautiful. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. Let's try and pour this. I'm just going to straight pour and pray for the best. What is going to happen? I know that I have to give it time. I think this is the thickest pour I have ever poured in my entire life. Seriously. Oh my damn. So I'm just going to go and clean. 
clean my cups and give this a few minutes. Okay, so this is maybe five minutes. Oh my damn, this is exciting. It's so thick. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to move it around properly. Oh my god. Well, this is really, um, I was going to say unexpected, but it's not unexpected. It's more like the colors are freaking pretty. Like, I've seen paintings like this before, but I think what's really awesome about this one is the mix of the silver with that I gasming blue there, holy. It's so thick. My God. Ah, and there is a lump right there. It's different from my usual, very, very different. I'll just, I'll go wash my hands and I'll come back and go in for you guys. I'm back, this is about five minutes later. It didn't really change and because of the thickness of the paint, I don't think it's gonna change much more than that. But the color is insane. The mix of the silver with that blue. Holy. And that white fluid media by Decoart paint that I was talking to you about. You see how it creates some weirdo effects? Well, if the paint wasn't as thick, it would be like all over the place, I'm telling you. If you're someone who likes to experiment with different brands and see how they react, you're definitely going to want to experiment with that one, I'm telling you. The overall look is sick. It reminds me of Sarah Max paintings. This is her style. It's not at all what I normally do. Is it just me whose eyeballs are eyegasming all over the place with this blue here? And the orange. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't dry too dark. I'm not used to the artist loft um, ready to pour paints. I'm guessing they should dry as is, hopefully. Stay tuned for the dried result. Back with the dried result and it's super pretty. It dried exactly the same. All the colors are the same. The only thing is it cracked a bit in the white there. It was so thick and with all the heat. You can see just a little bit of cracking right there. But I'll just fill that in with a paintbrush and you know what? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna resin this one. It's so pretty and it's gonna bring out that shine. So final painting of 2020. I really hope you guys like this. I think it's pretty good for the eyeballs. Bye guys. Have a good one.